Well, uh, one thing which seems to have stood out is that the first half of FY20, this fiscal, the first half is over, but there's been a sharp rise in the number of rating downgrades, and that is as per ICRA. To discuss uh, this in detail, we have Jitin Makkar, who is the head of credit policy at ICRA, who joins in on the phone line. Jitin, hi, thanks very much for taking the time out. Well, uh, if you could just take us through you know, the statistics in the first half of FI20 in terms of downgrades versus upgrades, and which are the sectors which have led it? Yeah, sure. Hi, good morning. Uh, as you rightly mentioned that uh, the first half of this ongoing fiscal has seen a large uh, volume of downgrades, and uh, the downgrade rate has uh, shot up vis-a-vis -vis the historical averages. Uh, to give uh, a few numbers, uh, for example, in the first half of FI20, uh, ICRA has downgraded around 250-odd uh, entities, and uh, this reflects around 12% uh, of the total entities that underwent a rating change on the downward side. Now, this 12%, if you look at this in perspective, uh, as far as the historical averages are concerned, this was in the vicinity of 9 to 10% in the past five years. So certainly, clearly, there has been a uh, jump in the downgrade rate. Now, this is one aspect. At the same time, what has also happened is uh, that upgrades have uh, significantly also come down vis-a-vis -vis historical averages. So again, double whammy, downgrades having increased, whereas upgrade momentum having decelerated. Mm. Uh, Jitin, uh, this is uh, April to September data, is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just to clarify, you said 250 entities have been downgraded. And this is 12% of the total entities which have undergone a downward rating action. Yeah, so if, we, if this uh, six months of uh, this fiscal were to be annualized, annualized and it was assumed that similar trends would play out in H2 as well, then uh, the downgrade rate would be roughly 12% of the total stock of entities whose ratings were outstanding at the beginning of the year. Okay, okay. So not 12%, uh, okay, 12% of the... Uh, total uh, of your coverage basically, coverage universe essentially. Correct. Right? Correct. Okay, okay. Correct. Just one thing, uh, since this is April to September, could you tell us what has been, uh, I mean, has, have things picked up in terms of downgrades in the month of September? Uh, what is the, what are the last month of uh, H2 shown us? So, uh, it might not be appropriate to track a monthly trajectory because uh, rating uh, attribution is an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, difficult to say that there was a spike in a given month, and that could be for various reasons, and they might not be analytical reasons. So okay. from an analytical perspective, uh, it's perhaps more appropriate to look at a slightly longer time horizon. That's why when I said that uh, this 12% rate has been annualized, I did not even want to comment on the six monthly rate because that also becomes noisy at times. Sure. Uh, Jitin, you know, one statistic which seems to stand out is the marked increase in the proportion of what you call fallen angels. Uh, companies which have already been downgraded and you've downgraded them further to a non investment grade. Uh, can you just tell us um, particularly about this group and where exactly is the stress being seen? Uh, in these fallen angel, angel company categories? Yeah, sure. Uh, most of these, uh, uh, first, first, let me just talk about this definition first. So if you want, one has to draw an imaginary line on a rating agency's rating portfolio, and that imaginary line cuts the investment grade entities from the non investment grade entities, then what we designate as fallen angels is entities whose ratings were in the investment grade in the beginning of the assessment period and then they happen to go under, below that line rather, uh, towards the end of the assessment period. So on this metric, we saw that uh, in H1 FY 2020, if again we were to analyze this trend, assuming that H2 will be a replica of H1, then around 7% of investment grade entities saw their ratings move to the non-investment grade. Now, we've seen worse times in the past. Mm -hmm. When uh, the last uh, crisis was there in FI 2013, FI 2014, at that point in time, this number was uh, had even shot up to 9%. Having said that, if we have to simply compare this current recent period with the recent historical averages, then this rate was no more than 2-3%. So from a level of 2-3% of the pie of fallen angels, angels this number has uh, shot up to around 7%. So this is a significant uh, uh, increase. Uh, it's not that uh, 
very high investment grade entities are becoming or coming into the non-investment grade category. Okay. It's just the entities which are at the cusp of non-investment grade, that is, the entities which are rated in the triple B category, a significantly large majority is, uh, uh, I'm saying that among this, uh, this small uh, section of triple Bs, entities have uh, seen uh, movement towards the double B category, 7% of those. Uh, right. Jitin, briefly, what uh, could you add? Could you tell us, uh, you know, is the change in SEBI regulations on ratings also forced your hand in many cases? That could be potentially a big reason why we've seen uh, the rate of downgrades pick up quite substantially. No, I would not attribute this to that. In fact, uh, the stress in the uh, financial sector specifically mm. and to the some extent which is now getting spread to the real sector. Mm. Uh, the downgrades have been induced by these factors rather than regulation. Okay. Uh, so no. how Got it. Got it. So it's basically uh, what you're seeing on the ground with companies rather than uh, SEBI regulations. Jitin, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Very interesting conversation actually. And we'll invite you over to our studios for a more detailed chat. But things definitely looking down uh, as far as credit ratings are concerned. I mean, I think the, the situation would be true with other large rating agencies as well. We spoke with Ikra. On to some uh, exclusive news which is flashing at the